Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about consumer debt and in particular we're going to be focusing on monthly installment loans. So the idea here is that you're borrowing and paying back with interest but that interest so first of all, you're paying in monthly payments. And instead of that interest being simple interest and just over the whole year, like it was a few sections ago, you're paying back in monthly payments and that interest is compounded every month. Okay, so paying back per month and our interest is compounding every month. All right, let's go ahead and look at the formula here, which is called the amortization formula. We have a few familiar variables. P is the principal, which is the amount that we borrow. Big M is our monthly payment amount. Little p is the periodic interest rate, which we saw before in the compound interest section. And that is gonna be r over 12, because 12 months in a year, we're doing monthly payments. And remember that r needs to be written as a decimal. And big T is gonna be the total number of compounding periods. which we can get by taking little t, the number of years that our loan lasts, multiplying it by 12, because 12 months for each one of those years. Okay, and let's go ahead and write down the actual formula. It's a little complicated looking. It's a little fancier looking than the previous ones. So big P, and then we've got a nice big old fraction over here. So little p, times one plus little p to the capital T over one plus little p to the capital T minus one. All right, there is our amortization formula. And you always wanna remember over here on this side with this complicated fraction, you wanna work inside out. So one plus p, then raise that to a fraction, then multiply, then divide all of that. And again, this is easier on a calculator where you can put in multiple operations at once and you've got the answer key to use. Let's go ahead and put this formula into practice with the following example. You buy a house for $150,000. You pay 20% down and borrow the rest at 3.6% interest, paying it back over 30 years. So what we're dealing with here is a mortgage, which generally is just a fancy word for a loan used to buy a house or a piece of land or something like this. Okay, we wanna figure out our monthly payment. Okay, so first, let's think about our variables. So we have big P, we have M, we have little p, and we have T and monthly payment is what we're looking for. We don't know what that is. We know we're paying this back over 30 years. So T, remember it's 12 payments for each of those 30 years. So that comes out to 360. Our periodic interest rate, 3.6% interest, we can write that as a fraction, 0.036 and it's divided over 12 compounding periods every year. So we can write that as 0 0.003. And the principal here, there's a little extra work to do. So you might wanna say that the principal is just 150,000, but 
you're not borrowing the full price. So a down payment means you're paying part of that price just out of your pocket, out of your bank account, and then we're gonna borrow the rest. Okay, so we're paying 20% of the price down. So 20% as a decimal is 0 0.20, and of means multiply. So 20% of 150,000 is 30,000 that we pay down. So we only borrow what's left, which is 150 minus 30,000 or 100, 120. So 120 is the principle here. All right, let's go ahead and fill all of this in to our formula. Okay, so our monthly payment is gonna be our principal, which is 120 times P, 0 0.003, times one plus P raised to the T, all over that same one plus P raised to the T minus one. And I just want to point out a word of warning here. I know, I know that I am going to have students that are going to see this one plus point zero zero three to the 360 in the numerator and the denominator, and you're going to want to cancel. But because this subtraction is here, right, it's sort of skewering it next to this exponential term, you cannot cancel, right? If you could cancel that out, well, they just would have made the formula simpler looking. They've got the formula as simple as it can go. You cannot cancel it out. You've got to just compute it out with the calculator. So we can make it a little simpler and write this part write it as 1.003 and that'll make it a little easier to type in but I would just do 1.003 raised to the 360 and then do that times 0 0.003 and then divide out and parentheses around the bottom here divide out by all of that stuff all right so you figure out all of this right hand part multiply that by 120 and what we get rounded off to two decimal places is $545.57, which seems like a pretty reasonable monthly payment. You might be thinking to yourself, oh yeah, $545.57 for a $150,000 house, that could be, depending on your housing market, my housing market, that could be like a three bedroom house in a perfectly nice neighborhood. So housing payment, not so bad. Well, let's go ahead and look at how much interest do we pay over the life of the loan? Okay, so to compute the interest, we need to find the total that we paid over those 30 years, and we're gonna subtract off the amount that we borrowed. Because we pay back the amount borrowed plus extra, that extra is the interest. Okay, so we know what the amount borrowed was. That was 120,000. But we need to figure out the total paid over 30 years. Well, we know how much we pay each month. We pay 545.57. And we know that we pay that every month, 12 times a year. And we do that for 30 years. And when we multiply all of that out, what we get is $196,369.20. Okay, so now we subtract off that 120. And what we get is 76000 $369.20. And there is our interest. 
So it's perfectly reasonable to take out a mortgage to buy a house, right? Most people don't have uh, six figures out of pocket to just pay. But we need to realize you're paying a lot in interest. So this is a very reasonable house, reasonable mortgage rate, and you're still paying $76,000 in interest. All right, let's do one more example using this. This one is a little different. So we buy a house paying $30,000 down and we finance the rest with a 30 year mortgage at 4.6% interest compounded monthly. If your monthly payments are 710, find the selling price of the house. Well, let's remind ourselves of our formula. M is big P times little p times one plus little p to the T over one plus little p to the T minus one. So we've got M P little p and t. And we know m, we're told that the monthly payments are 710. What about the principal, the amount we borrow? We'll find the selling price of the house. We're not given how much we borrow or any information about the selling price of the house. That's what we're going to want to find. Periodic interest rate, well, 4.6%. We write as 0.046 over 12. And we should note, if you plug this into the calculator, it's not going to be a nice, easy decimal. And you never, ever want to round until the very end of the problem. So you're going to want to keep this as a fraction as long as you can. And T, well, 12 monthly payments per year times the 30-year mortgage gives us a T of 360. All right, let's go ahead and fill all of this in. So M710 is the principal, which we still don't know, times a little p, 0 0.046 over 12, times 1 plus 0 0.046 over 12. Whoops, we know what T is. We can go ahead and fill that in, 360, over 1 plus 0 0.046 over 12 little p, our periodic interest rate, raised to the t, minus 1. Okay, so what's going to happen here? You want to compute all of this, right? All of this in parentheses written as crazy as it is, that's just some number. And you want to figure out what that is. Okay, so all of this is some number and I'm just gonna represent it with that little box. And then how we get P, well, P is being multiplied by all of that stuff, which turns out to be that number. So we're gonna take 710, divide it by all of that stuff, and that's our principle. And you can go ahead and try to work this out on the calculator on your own. What we end up getting is 138,497 dollars and rounded off to dollars and cents, 57 cents. Okay, so that is what we borrowed. But we've got to remember, we didn't just borrow the whole price of the house. We borrowed plus we had a down payment of $30,000. So we take that 138,497.57 that we borrowed, we add to it the 30,000 that we just paid out of pocket, and what we get is the total price of the house, which is 168. 497.57. So this is the total selling price. And we got it by doing what we borrowed plus what we paid down.